welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and demoing this Magic Chef Air Fryer Oven. And this is a 10.5 quart, so it's going to be a huge oven. So let's get right into it and start opening up our box. So guys, this is the air oven. It, this also comes with a recipe book and of course our product guide or manual. Here are the trays. So this is going to be our crumb tray or drip tray along with three of these mesh trays. So let me go ahead and open up this so you guys can see. Remove the tape. And it opens like an oven door downwards there's nothing else inside here so now let's put in our trees so the side where the curve goes inward One. right so if you're doing air frying you can probably use two of these this is just my suggestion because you don't want to overload your oven and also, um, if you want to dehydrate stuff, well, of course, you can use the three. But as you would see, when you put in three of these, your space becomes limited for tall items. So hence the reason why I say we can use this for more dehydrating stuff. So what I'm going to do is take out two of these and I'm going to put some chicken breast in here to cook. I actually want to go up one more with this. Okay, so that level looks good for me. So I just went up one level with this. So let me just get that chicken breast and we can test this out. So guys, I have my seasoned chicken breast in there and I'm doing Chinese style. And if you guys want the recipe for this, I'll leave it as an end card for you all. All I'm going to do now is close the air fryer or air fryer oven. There, it does have a light inside there also. And here is the power button on top of the machine, so you want to put that on. And I actually want this to bake at 400 degrees, so I'm just going to use the up button or the up arrow. Change that to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We are cooking chicken, so it's going to cook for 40 minutes. And we just press the power button to start. And it's not that noisy. So I'm gonna let this go once it's done. We'll check and see how well it cooked the chicken, how it looks, and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so let's check on this chicken. Wow, can you guys see that awesome? color wow and the skin is nice and crispy now i'm gonna leave it here in here like this because it's still dripping a lot of that um fat off the trip tray collected tons of fat let me just zoom in so you guys can see like tons and tons of fat so guys i must say that i love this machine it's really huge 10.5 quarts that's amazing and just by the fact that you can layer stuff in here, you're given three racks. If you're doing a big piece of um, meat, of course, you'll only use one of the racks. But it's so huge and I love the fact that it opens like an oven. Hence the reason why it's called an air fryer oven. So the chicken cooked really well. I'm going to leave it in there, let it rest. I can't cut it right away, but it smells amazing. It's nice and crispy on the outside. If you guys don't own an air fryer... Make an investment, own an air fryer. You don't have to be cooking your food in tons of oil and that deep frying. Stop it, get an air fryer. It's the healthier way to live. So if you guys are interested in this air oven, I will leave the information in the description box for you guys. Click on the link where you would be able to find all of the information to purchase this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all enjoyed this awesome quick review. Bye.